We're in Oregon City at the end of the Oregon Trail Interpretive Center. Before we talk about the end of the Oregon Trail, Missy, let's talk about the beginning, which kind of is what this represents. That's right. We're, we are standing in Independence, Missouri. Um, this part of the room is all the things they would have to leave behind. Oh, I'm sorry. And this is all the stuff they need to take with them. This, these things right here are for one person, all those increments. 75 pounds of bacon kind of stands out to me. I kind of like bacon. <laughs> bacon makes everything better, right? <laughs> you could make it if you had your bacon. So Missy, how long did it take to get from Independence to Oregon City? Six months. And the way they knew when to leave, they had to do with the grass in Independence because they wanted their oxen to have a lot to eat, good food to eat as far as possible before they had to start looking for their food. It's the end of the trail because we're the only land claim office west of the Rocky Mountains. Even San Francisco had to come up here to file their plot plan. So I love how interactive this is. You've got Lincoln Logs over there, you have tablets for people. This is really a self-guided tour. It really is, and it's really, uh, I even recommend people bring their children, and I know there's a lot of museums that have artifacts like this that don't necessarily relish six kids coming in and... Um, touching things. And touching things, but we let them touch them, we let them run, and you know, because there's lots of space, and um, so that they really get a good feeling about what, it, you know, they listen too, sometimes they're more engaged than the adults. 